Now I'd like to show you how the viewport navigation has been improved. Maybe you remember in Photoshop CS5, you had to constantly switch tools by clicking on them. And you had a single tool for every action you could do within the viewport. And this has now changed and it's much more convenient. Because all the tools you find now grouped under the move tool as an option. And by just clicking on a 3D layer, you activate the 3D mode here. You see that if I switch to the layers panel and switch to the background image, now I have the regular move tool. If I click on the 3D layer, I have the 3D move tools. And now I can change between them by clicking on them or by choosing the letter V. So if I hit V constantly, I switch through the tools. Maybe you have another preference selected. So then you have to additionally hold down the shift key. And on my configuration, which you find here under Photoshop Preferences General, I deactivated use shift key for tool switch. And that's why I switch between these tools by the letter V. And I change the properties here by shift and V. What do I affect with these tools in the scene? And that's very easy. You just have to click on it. So now you see I have a yellow border and that means I have the camera selected, so I can rotate the camera now. If I click again, I have the background selected. So if I had an image-based light here, I could rotate the image-based light. And if I click again, I'm back to the camera view. And you see it here in the properties panel, now the 3D camera is active. If I click again, you have the blue border and I have the environment active. But what if I want to rotate the object in the scene? Well, you guessed right. I just click on the object and now I can rotate with the tools. I can choose the other tools to dolly, move or whatever and scale them. Or I can use this widget here in the middle to rotate, to scale or to move in the appropriate axis. And you can scale the widget now by holding down the shift key, hovering the mouse cursor over the widget and drag up and down. And that is quite good because in some scenes you may not be able to aim exactly at the tiny little symbols here of this widget. So scaling it up is a good idea. Once you have activated the object, you can select materials by another click. Just hover the cursor over the object and click. And now you see I now activated a constraint and it is the hole in the P. So if I hit exactly on the surface here, I got to the materials where I can choose several presets and can set the diffuse, the specular and all the other parameters for this object. So back to rotation, clicking in the background, you see that's quite easy. Another cool feature in Photoshop CS6 is that you don't only have this single view, but you can add another view and you find that under the view menu in the show sub menu and here you have several options you can switch off the ground play in the lights the selection but you can switch on the 3d secondary view and you see i can switch here to several view angles maybe i want to see my object from the right to reorder the letters in some kind of fashion but don't have to leave this view I can choose to look at it from the front or from top. And you can switch between these views by using this little icon here in the upper right corner to swap the main and the secondary window. And it looks like this now. You're looking upon the object in the main window, but the backdrop image stays as it was. And here you see the 3D view you had before. So click on it again and everything is fine again. Another thing is you have a gizmo down here and here you can choose also different camera presets to quickly switch between them once you need several views in the main viewport and don't have open this window here. So that's quite comfortable in Photoshop CS6 and you see how easy it is to navigate. Just click on what you want to manipulate and then choose the right tool and click and drag.